In this video, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube thumbnails using Microsoft Paint. There are several reasons for choosing Paint over Photoshop. The main reason I use Paint is because it uses a lot less RAM and I can create eye-catching thumbnails in just a couple minutes. To get started, I open up MS Paint. The first thing I do is resize the image to create a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Open the resize dialog and select the pixels radio button. Uncheck the maintain aspect ratio checkbox and then adjust the horizontal and vertical pixel count. YouTube recommends using 1280 by 720 because that is a large enough image that it will look good on pretty much any size screen, but I usually go for the larger 1920 by 1080 since what really matters is that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now I'm going to open the image I want to start with, but I'm going to open it in a second instance of paint. Once it's open, I'm going to resize it to fit inside the 1920 by 1080 image I already created. If the image isn't a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, then I'll choose to match either the horizontal or vertical dimension. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This time, I'm choosing to match the vertical dimension by setting it to 1080 and leaving the maintain aspect ratio checkbox checked. Then, with the image still selected, I'm going to copy using Control C and switch to the other paint and then paste using Control V. Then I can drag it to wherever I want it. To unselect it, I left button mouse click somewhere off the image. Now I'll add a block or some other shape and place it where I want it. Fill it with color and make adjustments until I'm happy with how it looks. Finally, I add some text. I like combining black with yellow because it creates a lot of contrast and visual interest. I'm just shifting it around, playing with the placement and text size until I get something I like. The text needs to be large enough that it can be read when the image is smaller in YouTube. Lastly, I do a save as and save it as a JPEG. For this next example, I'm going to show you how I crop an image without warping it. Start by opening the image and adjust the pixels. This time I'm going to set the horizontal to be 1920 and let the vertical be oversized. With the image still selected, I'm going to click crop. Now I want to adjust the image size vertically. I can do this by hovering near the edge for the double-sided arrow and then dragging the side upwards. I'm keeping an eye on the pixel count at the bottom so I know how far I've gone. I try to keep things even by cropping the top and bottom the same amount. So when I've gone about halfway, I rotate the image 180 degrees and do the same thing. and rotate 180 again. Now I'll add shapes and some text. And finally, a save as to a JPEG. For this third and final example, I'm setting the horizontal dimension to 1920 pixels, and I'm going to adjust the top and bottom just like last time. And I think I'll add some text. And then now I'll use the brush tool to underline it. It usually takes a couple tries to get it to look the way I want. I'm using Control Z to undo stuff I don't like. Then I try again. That looks good. Now I'll save my thumbnail. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Bye!